It is week 13 of the NFL season. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. I hope you got some great deals on Black Friday, got some good Black Friday shopping done. I hope you enjoyed all the football this past weekend, college and NFL. A lot of exciting games, a lot of exciting finishes. But we now look ahead to week 13. And we are heading towards that home stretch of the regular season. Just six more weeks left in the regular season until the playoffs begin. And there is a lot to still be decided. Now, last week, I went 11-5. and five. My best week of the season. Hopefully, I have another week just like that. So without further ado, let's get right into the Week 13 NFL Predictions. As always, we begin with TNF. And this week, TNF features the Bills and the Patriots. Now, believe it or not, I think this game is a swing game. A game that I think is going to go either way. I don't expect either side to blow out the other. Now, typically we do see lower scoring games on TNF because it is a short week for the teams. But this is no short week for either of them, as they are both getting a full week worth of rest as they both played last Thursday. But I think this will be a game that comes down to the fourth quarter. Mac Jones, he did really well last week, and I think he is... Despite being on the losing end last week, he is confident in this matchup. And the Bills' defense, honestly, they haven't really impressed me in the last month. So I expect New England to be in this game till the very end. But I just think in that fourth quarter, Josh Allen is going to make a play that Mac Jones doesn't. And I think that's how the game is going to be decided. So I am going with the Bills. Next up, we have the Steelers and the Falcons. Now, I imagine this game is going to be a pick em by the end of the week. Right now, the Steelers are a one-point favorite. Now, we saw the Steelers' defense in full display on Monday Night Football. And T.J. Watt has been back in the Steelers' lineup for a couple weeks now. And since he came back in the last couple of weeks, the Steelers have looked better. T.J. Watt somehow provides a spark for the Steelers. Because Kenny Pickett has shown improvement in the last couple of weeks. And Najee Harris left the game last week against the Colts with an admin injury, which is a shame because it was looking like Najee Harris was just starting to get things going. He was off a two-touchdown performance against the Bengals the week prior, and he had over 90 rushing yards before that against the Saints. So it felt like we're finally starting to see Najee Harris break out, and then he gets injured. But... I'm going with the Steelers in this one because Kenny Pickett has looked confident in the last couple of weeks. While the Falcons, they lost last week to the Commanders. They had a chance to win at the end, but Mariota choked. I really want to see the Falcons put in Desmond Ritter. I don't know why they haven't. But Steelers win because TJ Watt, he provides a bigger presence for the Steelers. And I'm going with who I think has the better defense. Despite the Falcons being competitive in almost every single game this year, I'm going with Pittsburgh. Next, we have the Packers and the Bears, and this is a game where I'm completely undecided on. We don't have much information right now. So, just like last week, this is a game that I don't recommend betting on until at least Friday. Until we at least find out if Aaron Rodgers will play, if Justin Fields will play, if it's going to be Jordan Love versus Justin Fields, Aaron Rodgers versus Justin Fields, Aaron Rodgers versus Trevor Simeon or Nathan Peterman. Who knows what the quarterback matchup is for right now. But if Aaron Rodgers plays, I'm going with the Packers. Even though Aaron Rodgers has struggled all season long, and the Packers, they have struggled all year long. The Packers, they own the Bears. But if Aaron Rodgers doesn't play, and the ball is in Jordan Love's hands... And if the Bears are starting Justin Fields, then I'm going to go with the Bears. But if we see Jordan Love versus Trevor Seaman or Nathan Peterman, I am going with the Packers because the Bears, they do not have a good defense. And this would be a prime opportunity for Jordan Love to get some very valuable reps. In his first NFL start against the Chiefs last year, Jordan Love, I feel like he really held his own. That's why a lot of people thinking that he didn't. 
He avoided getting sacked quite a few times. He threw a touchdown pass to Alan Lazard. So I will let you know in the comment section Sunday morning, at least before then, I won't predict in that game. So that prediction is to be announced. Jaguars and the Lions. Now, this is also a game where I imagine it will be a pick 'em by the end of the week because right now the line is Jacksonville minus one. And it makes sense. They're coming off of an emotional win against the Ravens, a come from behind victory. But the Lions, they may have the worst defense from a numbers standpoint. But in the majority of their games, in all but one of their games so far this season, they have held their own in that game. Take away the Patriots game and perhaps the last 10 minutes of the Cowboys game. The Lions have held their own all year long. They are not a team that is going to be pushed around. And I'm going to go with the Lions. They're coming off of a heartbreaking loss to the Bills on Thanksgiving, a game where they just let slip they just let it slip away from them. So I think the Lions redeem themselves this week and get the win. Next up, we have the Jets and the Vikings. We saw Mike White car carve up the Bears' defense on Sunday last week. While the Vikings, they have a few more days extra rest by playing on Thanksgiving. But call me a madman here, but I'm going to pick the Jets. Because the Vikings' defense is not that good. And Mike White, I think, is a fairly underrated quarterback. In the two starts that he started and finished the game he did really well and i think mike white is due for another big game as i do think it is possible plus the jets they're a team that has been surprising all year long their defense has been good led by lockdown corner sauce gardner and sauce gardner versus justin jefferson that's going to be a big matchup within the game and i think sauce gardner is going to be able to hold justin jefferson pretty well in this game in fact, whatever Justin Jefferson's prop bid is for this game, I would probably bet the under on it, personally. I'm not somebody that throws out gambling advice, but I do think this is an ideal game where Justin Jefferson kind of underperforms. So I am going with the Jets to pull off the upset. The Commanders and the Giants. The Commanders, they are winning games. They are finding ways to win games. While the Giants, I just think that this, I think their season is starting to implode. So I'm going with the Commanders. I am riding with the hot team at this point, and that is the Commanders. Moving on to the Titans and the Eagles. Now, this is going to be very interesting. I am curious to see how many times Derrick Henry is going to touch the football in this matchup. Because I think for the Titans to win, Derrick Henry is going to have to touch the ball at least 35 times. So we're going to see one of those dominant games by Derrick Henry. Because if the Titans are forced to throw the football, I do not like their chances at all. Because the Eagles secondary is one of the best in the NFL. And the Eagles run defense, they have been exploited in quite a few games this season. That is the weakest point for the Eagles so far this season is the run defense. But Jordan Davis is supposed to be back this week. So that is going to provide a big help for the weaker point on the Eagles right now. But I'm going with Philadelphia. I think the Eagles win another game. I think it's going to be big games by A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. Both of them must start in fantasy this week. Moving on to the Broncos and the Ravens. I don't know what it is about the Broncos. Last week, they had a prime opportunity to win against the Panthers, a Panthers team that is weak, a team like the Panthers that they could really compete with, but the Panthers, they just dominated. And put a fork in the Broncos season as their season's done. I'm going with the Ravens, even though the Ravens blew yet another lead in the fourth quarter last week against the Jaguars. Even though the Broncos defense is the best part about their team. The only good part about their team is offensively, they are really pathetic at this point. I'm taking the Ravens to absolutely dominate. Now, the line is minus eight, so I honestly wonder if we're going to see like 
a backdoor cover at the last minute. So playing the Ravens minus eight, I would be a little bit cautious about that. Browns and the Texans. Now, call me a madman, but this is my trap game of the week. Now, on paper, you would suspect the Browns to absolutely dismantle the Texans. But Deshaun Watson is slated to return this week to start for the Browns in this matchup against his former team. Now, it has been over two years since Deshaun Watson has played a meaningful NFL game. So there's going to be a lot of rust. So I expect the Browns to rely on Nick Chubb heavily in this game, just like he was relied on last week against the Bucks in their overtime victory. Now, I do think the Browns win, but if the Texans pull off this upset, I would not be shocked at all. Next up, we have the Seahawks and the Rams, and I just don't know what else to say. I mean, the Seahawks, they have had their moments where they're a dominant defense, and then the next week, it's back to where it was last year and two years ago. But anything that could go wrong for the Rams this season has gone wrong. Now, we got a lot of things to add. They lose OBJ. They lose Von Miller to the Bills in free agency. They lose Matthew Stafford to the concussion protocol. They lose Cooper Cup. Now they have lost Allen Robinson. Now they potentially could be losing Aaron Donald as it's believed that his ankle injury is a high ankle sprain. So I'm picking the Seahawks as the Rams... They really have nothing left to fight for. The only person that really does have something to fight for in this game for the Rams is potentially Bryce Perkins. As it would not surprise me if the Rams are going to shut down Matthew Stafford. I mean, they might as well because they're not going to be able to make a run for the playoffs. And I'd say Kyron Williams has something to prove as well. The rookie out of Notre Dame. So I'm going Seattle to win big. Next, we have the Dolphins and the 49ers. Now, this is one of the best games of the week. Tua is 8-0 this season in games where he starts and completes the game. Well, the 49ers, they have been getting healthier by the week. Christian McCaffrey, he does have an injury right now, but it's appearing that it's not going to hurt him as much. Elijah Mitchell is slated to miss six to eight weeks. So I do think we're going to see Jordan Mason get some carries here for the 49ers. But I still think that the 49ers win this game as this is going to be the toughest defense that Tua has faced so far this season. Plus, there is a lot of beef in this matchup as... Raheem Mostert came out and said that there is a more talented group in Miami than in San Francisco. Plus, Mike McDaniel is coaching against his old team and his old buddy in Kyle Shanahan. But I am picking San Francisco. I just think that defense is going to be too strong for the Dolphins. And I believe the Dolphins are going to be without their top two tackles in this game. Next, we have the Chiefs and the Bengals. And I cannot wait for this one. The two times we saw these two teams face off last season, they were both great games. And in the regular season matchup, when they faced off against each other, it was perhaps maybe the best game of the regular season. It was one of, if not the best. Personally, I think that game was, at the very least, top three. But, Jamar Chase is expected to be back this week for the Bengals. And he absolutely torched the Chiefs secondary last year. But Patrick Mahomes, as I believe, it's now 26-0 in games in November and December. And I think that streak continues. But if there was one team that could end this streak, it would be this Bengals team. Because... Joe Burrow has been playing lights out against the Chiefs so far in his career. But I am going with Kansas City. 
Moving on to the Chargers and the Raiders. The Raiders are perhaps starting to go on a winning streak here. While the Chargers are coming off of a thrilling victory over the Cardinals, going for two at the end of the game to win. But now they go up against a Raiders team that is coming off of a big win in overtime against the Seahawks, off of a big performance by Josh Jacobs. And with Derek Carr getting emotional a couple weeks ago at the, at the press conference, that provided a spark for the Raiders team. And I think the Raiders, they've won the last two games since that happened, and I think they make it three in a row. I am going with the Raiders in this matchup. Up next, Sunday night football, the Colts and the Cowboys. And I'm going to go with the Cowboys. I think their defense is just too strong, too elite. To, you know, I think this is going to be a tough task for Matt Ryan, as Matt Ryan has struggled throughout most of the year. And the Cowboys, they're a well more rested team. They're going to have over a week and a half of rest compared to the Colts only having six days. So I'm going with the Cowboys. Finally, Monday Night Football, the Saints and the Buccaneers. Now, the Saints, they appear to be Tom Brady's kryptonite in the regular season. But they did win the battle last time. And I do think they win the battle again here because the Saints, they have just looked abysmal this entire season. And I can't wait to see the matchup between Mike Evans and Marshawn Lattimore. As Marshawn Lattimore and Mike Evans, they got into a scuffle last time these two faced off against each other. So I am going to go with the Buccaneers this time. But I want to see how Mike Evans does in this game, as he does seem to struggle against the Saints. And that will do it for my Week 13 NFL predictions. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, have a great day and enjoy the football this weekend.